This is Kevin Mayo, and I am your American correspondent for Real Ale Craft Beer. And today we're going to drink Smutty Nose Cluster's Last Stand. Now I got a lot to tell you about this beer. Uh, first off, Smutty Nose from well, Fort Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Now they're in Hampton, New Hampshire. Been there, visited them. Great, great people. They've really grown since the last three, four years ago that I went there. So we are using our Smutty Nose Snifter. So. Smutty Nose and Stone collaborated to make this beer. Smutty Nose, actually, let's back up again. Northampton Brewery, it's about half an hour north of me, Northampton, Massachusetts, is the oldest brew pub in New England. They founded, or the owners, some of the owners founded Portsmouth Brewery in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Then again, some of the owners again founded Smutty Nose. Now, last Sunday, last Saturday night, my whole family, there was eight of us, we were at Northampton Brewery trying some of their fine beers, sitting out under the stars. The last beer I reviewed for my site was Ballantine's new IPA. This beer here is supposed to be a takeoff of the original Ballantine's IPA style, which I drank 40 years ago, and I have to admit, I don't remember a lot about it. I seem to remember it fairly rounded, mouthfeel, and just a little bit sharper. I don't think it had anywhere near the IP, IBUs that we have in today's IPAs. This one, I think, was bottled at the beginning of September, around the 8th, and, or at least they shipped it on the 8th. They must have bottled it on the 6th, and today is the last day of September, so it should be nice and fresh. So we're going to go ahead and give it a crack, because that was a long story. So that's pretty. That's pretty. Like I said the Northampton Brewery, and then the Valentine's IPA. I was like all excited about that. Let's go ahead and give it a pour. I'm not giving it a very aggressive pour, but then again, I'm not an aggressive pour. I know some guys are. Just my thing. Put that down there. We'll take a look at the f color. And it is a uh, between a. Uh, dark yellow and a light orange, kind of depending which light I'm using. That light is more yellow, this one's more orange. We got about a finger and a half of slightly off-white head, fair amount of bubbles on it. It is a little hazy, do not have any idea if it's bottled conditioned or not. And just a little bit of carbonation, we got some bubble streaming up but not excessive. Let's do the aroma. And I'm getting a lot more of a fruity aroma than I got from the Valentine's. I mean, I'm getting a, like a sweeter fruit, like a, like a, I don't want to say a pear, but like a, like a mango. Maybe just a hint of toffee. Just got a hint of like pepper. And just a slightest hint of like cut grass. Let's do the taste. Oh, the really, really nice beer. Nothing, no real pow factor, but really nice, smooth mouthfeel. Yeah, just a nice, nice mouthfeel. It goes down nice. You get a nice toasted malt. You get a nice toasted malt. I'm getting a little bit of resin on the back of the tongue, a little bit of that resin oil. There is some bitter at the back end, in the back of the throat. I think it's 70 IBU. Um, so let me see what other flavors we can pick up. It is 8%, 8.8% alcohol. I'm not picking up really any alcohol flavor. Again, a nice toasted malt, 
a little bit of that sweet fruit that I was talking about a mango or a tangerine something in that uh, thing resin oil maybe a hint especially on the back end now a little hint of pine on the back end and, and then it finishes fairly bitter the aftertaste is quite bitter I would say that this is much closer to the original Valentine's IPA than the one that you can buy that Paft is putting out um, and I gave what did I give that one I think I gave that an 80, so I'm gonna. This one's gonna get a higher score. Really, I'm done talking because I'm liking this beer a lot. I want to do more drinking of it. It's like I said, it's not a big pow factor, but it's a really nice drinking beer. Something that you really enjoy. Um, re, after a day at work, pop this and drink it for the flavor. It's refreshing. It's not over the top. Uh, I'm going to give it a solid 88 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.